everybody. It is Monday. I'm Richard Osman. Welcome along to the House of Games. I'm just taking a little look at what you're having for tea, potato waffles. Textbook. Well done. Um, now, you know what happens on this show. Four famous faces all battle it out to win a very, very disappointing trophy. There it is. Our four famous faces this week, including one of my all-time heroes, are Carrie Ad Lloyd, <laughs> Dennis Taylor, Yasmin Akram, and Jeff Norcott. Welcome, one and all. As I say, one of my all-time heroes is here, Jeff Norcott. Hello. Hello. Uh, I, I jest. We'll get on to Dennis Carriad. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Um, we start a week afresh. Uh, how are you feeling? Nervous, confident, good quizzer? I was very competitive. I'm a reformed, competitive person. Oh, okay. And I've learnt to be more zen and let go. But it could rise at any oh, point. <laughs> listen, you're going to have a relapse this week. I yeah, absolutely yeah, I think guarantee so. you that. Yeah. Dennis, I don't need to ask if you are competitive, because clearly you are. But how are you feeling in this, um, in, in this company? In very this competitive, but uh, in this company, I think I'm a bit out of my depth. Uh, Dennis? Quizzing. I absolutely agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would. Really. But it's going to be lovely to have you here all week. Delighted to be here. Um, Yasmin. Who do you think your big competitor is this week? Oh, I know Cariad, so I think, yeah, probably her. Just oh, I'd have loved it if you said, experience. I know Cariad, so not her. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, at the end of the week, someone wins a trophy, Yasmin, but at the end of every day, someone wins a prize as well. Shall we take a look at today's yes, prizes? Please. So whoever wins today could be Ooh. taking home the House of Games cricket bat, fondue set, the coffee mug, the plant pot, or the golf umbrella. What do you fancy? I don't want any of them. <laughs> OK, interesting. Well, maybe, maybe we'll wait till Tuesday yes. when you uh, yes. win your prize. Jeff Norcott, Hello. lovely to have you here, sir. Stand-ups often do very well on this show. But what would you go for if you were to win today, do you think? Well, interestingly, there's a cricket bat there. Yes. I see this like the test cricket of quizzing. Five days. Yes. OK, I'm just going to block out. As long as I'm still there at the end, the draw's a draw. Okay. okay, so you're, you're, you're trying to get a draw across the week, is that right? I think I can guarantee that I can be here at the end of the week. Whether or not I actually score any runs or answer any questions is open for debate. Um, shall we get on and quiz? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, yeah. first round or the first week, every time I press this buzzer, a new round comes up. I never know what it's going to be, you never know what it's going to be either. Our first round on Monday's House of Games is. Prime time. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to ask you two questions at a time. There's only one rule, and that is the answers rhyme with each other. OK, very best of luck, one and all. Here is your first question of the week. Leonard Nimoy's Star Trek character and Dwayne Johnson's wrestling nickname. <laughs> Jeff. Dr Spock, The Rock. I mean, it's Mr. Spock and the Rock, but given it's the first question on the Monday, uh, I'm going to give it to you. A cheeky you. single. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Spock and the Rock. Next question. Eating utensils common in Asia and the Secret Intelligence Service. Yes, carry on. Chopsticks and MI6. Chopsticks, MI6. Well played. Point to carry on. Here's your next one. What is this? And what is this? Yes, carry on. Toilet roll remote control. Toilet roll remote control. You've always got to know where both <laughs> of those things are, don't you? <laughs> Toilet roll remote control. Well done if you said that at home. Uh, next question. Galaxy that contains our solar system and long-running BBC football show presented by Gary Lineker. Ariad. Milky Way, match of the day. Oh, <laughs> good. She's good. Ariad Lloyd, well done. It crept up very quickly, didn't it, the competitive? Yeah. <laughs> didn't I mean, really yeah. very strong. I know, yeah. sorry. Right. sorry. It feels like it didn't really creep up. It can feel yeah. like four years yeah. of therapy just disappearing <laughs> immediately. Um, here is your next question. Fingers on buzzers, please. What is this? And what is the title of this song? Yes, Jeff. Baguette and Lynette. Baguette and Lynette? Yep. It's a made-up mm. song. Not, I'm afraid. Anyone else fancy it? <sighs> that is Yasmin. Baguette and I don't know what I'm going to get. 
Oh, is it baguette and I don't know what I'm going to get? I just made that it's up. not, I'm afraid. Uh, anyone else fancy it? Or should I tell you? It is baguette and you ain't seen nothing oh, yet. Oh, God, of course. Oh. Backman Turner Overdrive. Here's your next question. Cartoon Mickey's polka dot wearing girlfriend and dwelling owned by the witch in Hansel and Gretel. Carrier, do you surprise me? Uh, Minnie Mouse Gingerbread House. Minnie Mouse Gingerbread House. Well played, Carrier. Nicely done. <laughs> Final question in this round. Fingers on buzzers, Carriad. <laughs> Sitcom starring Pauline Quirk and Linda Robson. And what is the title of this song? Then you come around again and say... Yes, Yasmin. Birds of a feather, we are never getting back together. Birds of a feather, we are never getting back together. I'll give you that. It's close enough. Yeah, we are never, ever getting back together. It's Taylor Swift. By Taylor Swift. Well done, Yasmin. Nice end to the round. Um, shall we take a look at our first scoreboard? Dennis, keeping your powder dry, but you, we've seen you do that before. Listen, I usually go eight never behind. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That, that's when you're really in trouble against Dennis. Um, Yasmin and Jeff, you have one point each. We have an early leader, Carriad Lloyd, with four points. Shall we play another round? Round two today is going to be... <laughs> distinctly average pairs game. As always in a pairs game, the player in the last place gets to choose their partner. Dennis, today that is you. Who would you like to play this round with? <laughs> I'm going to choose this beautiful lady on my right. <laughs> of course, I mean, Dennis, of course you are. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know how to win. <laughs> um, tablets out, please, everybody. Oh. Ooh. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. You need to write down an estimate of an answer uh, and the average of each pair's answers will be your answer, OK? Uh, the first thing I need you to write down is this, please. In the 2010s, how many different singles reached number one in the UK's official chart? So how many in number one singles were there in the UK in that decade? Ten years. So January 2010 to December 2019. For avoidance of doubt. Huh. <sighs> um, what do you think at home on this one? How many number one singles were there in the 2010s? Carriad, we'll start with you. What were you thinking and what answer did you come up with? I did 562. 500. So that's like it's one only a week. 520, it's more than one a week. <laughs> no, that's how I got confused. <laughs> I mean... I'm sorry, Dennis. If... It's quite a... I didn't want to score anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dennis, I hate to ask, have you gone up or down? <laughs> I've, I've gone down. Yeah, you've gone down okay. slightly. 220. 220, so everyone's number one for, yeah, two and a half weeks. Probably like less that. than yeah. that. But, uh, average, okay. we might... The average is, yeah, is, yeah, might yeah, help. is helping you out a little bit. <laughs> Dennis and Carriad, your average is 391. <laughs> Yasmin, what was your thinking? I had no thinking. I just wrote down a number. Oh, great. Um, is, is it higher than 520? <laughs> no. no. Okay. But I also don't think it's right. 150. Um, Jeff? I sort of went same maths, 10 times 52 is 520. And then you did. And then writing. I thought some songs stay number one for a while, but they're streaming now. Oh, they're streaming. Yeah. Beyonce and Ed Sheeran, he said, trying to seem cool to the kids. They've probably done, <laughs> they're probably the new Brian Adams. Absolutely floundering out there on the NC4, <laughs> yeah. isn't he? So you're saying 320, which means your average is 235. What do you think at home on this one? 391 plays 235. How many different number ones were there and who has won the points? To, oh, oh, look at that for an average. So 245. Yeah. Quite clever. Yeah. Somewhere, very, somewhere between us about here, we're very smart. Yeah. That is a very good average and a very good score there from, uh, from Dennis. Um, let's take a look at your next question. How many yellow taxis are in operation in New York City? Hmm. According to the New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission. Based on the movies, yeah. a lot. Yeah. A load. Yeah, like l loads. You can never get them, especially if you're a sort of a kooky girl in a rom-com. Never. Yeah. Mm. Never. Story yeah, but then you bump life. into the man of your dreams, <laughs> so it's OK. <laughs> The difference between my first guess on this and what I've put is absolutely massive. Oh, really? That worries me. OK, well, let, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. start with you, Jeff. OK, everybody locked in. Uh, Jeff, you just said that your first guess and what you've actually written down were very different. Yeah, first guess was a million. OK. But then I've gone down to 1,900. Well, I mean, Ooh. 
that. So you changed your mind from a million yeah. to 1900. <laughs> OK. Yasmin, you've gone up or down from 1900? I've gone, I've gone up a bit, a good bit. I've done 200,000. 200,000. Yeah. OK. Let's take a look at your average. Your average is 100,950. You had a very good average last time. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if you've done the same this time. Uh, Cariad, what are you saying? Um... <laughs> and show everyone your picture. I did a picture of New York. Oh, oh lovely. And the Empire State Building. And the Empire State Building, cos number's not my thing. <laughs> um, and I just said 6,000. 6,000 says Cariad. Dennis, up or down from 6,000? I've, uh, I've changed it. I had uh, 2,000 and I've gone down to 1,500 for some reason. OK, I don't so know why. 2,000 to 1,500. <laughs> I mean, better than Jeff, who went from a million <laughs> to 1,900. <laughs> So, carry out, Dennis, your average is 3,000. So, a big oh, oh disagreement God. here. Wow. Let's take a look, shall we? Um, it's one way to find out, isn't it? Let's yeah. look at the answer. <laughs> so, how many yellow taxis are there and which team has won the point? 13,500, oh. <laughs> Harry Adam Dennis. <laughs> well done. Okay. Uh, final question in this round. I wonder if you could write me down an answer to this. How many films have received 10 or more nominations at the Oscars? And that's up to and including the 2020 ceremony. Mm. Mm. How many years have the Oscars been going? Yeah, I'm not really allowed to tell you, Dennis. No, sorry. You know that if, if, Can I tell him? Why don't you tell him and see if there's any sanction? It probably won't me. make any difference. I think I'm probably whatsoever. fairly toothless in this. I think since the 20s, I mm. think. And we're locked in. What do you think at home on this? Uh, Dennis, you were trying to find out how many Oscars there were and then Carrie had told you and I... I I can't really take a point so, of view, so but uh, there have been 92, 92. ceremonies. Um, what was your thinking? What number have you gone for? I've gone for, I don't know why, <laughs> 3,200. 3,200. Nice, so that's nice numbers. Yeah. <laughs> how, many is, how many would that be per ceremony? <laughs> oh, no, be... in total, yeah. 34 films per ceremony, getting 10 or more. No, that's, that's no, total. That feels like a lot, doesn't <laughs> Sorry it? Sorry about that. <laughs> Dennis? We're equal, Dennis, we're equal. Dennis, Dennis, when you say that now, doesn't that sound like a lot? <laughs> it sounds, uh, sounds like a, an awful lot. <laughs> a little bit. Can I just get rid of the three? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what we can do is see if Harriet can bring your... I assume you're going down from that. Oh, well. uh, let's see what, well. where, you're, where you're going with this. I did a picture again, because oh, it no helps way. me think. Oh, so, that's so nice. That's supposed to be an Oscar, but it looks more sort of <laughs> Joan of Arc. <laughs> I did 29. <laughs> Let's take a look at your average. Oh, dear me. Which is <laughs> 1,614 and a half films. Uh, at least it's those, gone lower. In those 90, yeah, exactly. Yasmin, you could pretty much have written anything here and you're going to get yourself a point, but uh, what was your thinking? I had nine, question mark. Jeff, what are you saying? I've gone higher than that. I'm really bad at turning this round. <laughs> um, 33 I've gone. Because I think that there's quite a lot of categories, aren't there, like best person speaking backwards. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> There are famous category. So 33 might be still be a bit high. Let's take a look at our average. It is 21. 21, yeah. What do you think at home? What are you closer to? Are you closer to 21 <laughs> or are you closer to 1,600? <laughs> um, shall we find out the answer? Let's take yes, a little look, shall we? I How think. many films have received 10 or more nominations at the Oscars? Oh. 95. Oh, oh we're, we're, like nearly, we're nearly there. <laughs> Dennis, I, I take it back. I, it was actually a terrific answer. I cannot wait for the next snooker tournament to get the stick I will get <laughs> from <laughs> all the players. But there we go. Uh, 95. 95. Well done. If you're, so that's like one a year getting yeah, 10. Yeah, that's quite a lot. Yeah, how about that? That's the end of that round. Tab this away, please, and let's take a look at what it has done to the scores. Two rounds into Monday's House of Games. Dennis, you are off I've the mark. Got, a point. got one point. Congratulations. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, Yasmin and Jeff, three points each. Cariad, two point lead, five points. Well played, Cariad Lloyd. <laughs> Let's play another round, shall we? Round three today is. <laughs> Bowel <laughs> movements. <laughs> what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you a series of clues. Now, they have something in common. So, fingers on buzzers, please. I'll show you the clues. The only thing I've done is, every time there's a vowel in these words, I've changed the vowel. So, you've got to work out what these words actually are and then what connects them, OK? I'll show you your first set of clues. Don't forget, we've changed all the vowels. Nerthon. Vuktaru. Bikoli. And Jebalu. 
Yasmin. Are they London Underground lines? Absolutely right. <laughs> well done. Um, yeah, Northern Victoria, Bakerloo and Jubilee, London Underground lines. Well played, Yasmin. What connects these four, please? Nako. Lian. Yes, Jeff. French cities? Oh, are they French cities like Nice and Lyon? Let's take a look at the others. Oh, Absolutely oh, right. Look the team. Bordeaux <laughs> and pause there becomes Paris cities in France. That was quick. Mm. Nicely played, Jeff. What connects these four, please? Peg. Piedlou. Walsh Kurgo. Grout Duno. I have a guess, only because I think peg could be pig, so farmyard animals. They are not, I'm afraid. Anybody? Or you'll pick yourself, Yasmin. Are they breeds of dog? Oh. Take a little look. Yes! Peg <laughs> becomes pug, Peedley oh. becomes poodle, Wolf Kurgo, oh. Welsh Corgi, and Grout to do no great day in well played Yasmin. What connects these four clues, please? Millot. Pexio. Bab. Shart, Buck and Sedos. <laughs> Yasmin. They're types of haircuts. Surely. Oh, yes. Shart, Buck and Sedos. Short back and side. Yeah. Bab is Bob. Yeah. She's the Val Queen. I don't know why I'm good at this. It's amazing the skills you find you have on this show sometimes, <laughs> yeah. which have no use in outside life no. <laughs> at all. No. What connects these four clues, please? Tiblat. Smith Fano. Yes, Yasmin. They're all um, electronic devices. <laughs> wow, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Look at that. Yes. Like this tablet, a Smith Fano smartphone, lip tap, uh, and printer, laptop, and printer. Well done, electronic devices. Next question Sordanis. Cheridos. Yes, I, I automatically looked at you. Yeah, I know, I know. I was <laughs> like, on. I think I finally got that. Is it breakfast cereals? Is it breakfast cereals? No. Not. <laughs> that was my guess as well, in yeah. fairness. Uh, next one. Missy Cool Chores. And Piss Though Purple. <laughs> yes, Yasmin. Is it like parlour games? They like parlour games or party games? Yeah. Absolutely right. Well done. Sardines, Chirac, I know what it feels like. Yeah, now you know, right? Pass the parcel. Final question in this round. Otten Moss. Banifu Pau. Raubob Cramlo. Yes, no, carry on. Oh, is it puddings? Oh, is rhubarb it puddings? crumble, banoffee pie, well eat and mess. Eat and mess, banoffee pie, rhubarb oh. crumble, and sticky toffee pudding there at the end. <laughs> All desserts, well played, carry on. Nice way to end the round. Great round for Yasmin. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. Three rounds into Monday's House of Games. Dennis holding steady oh, there yes. with one. Yasmin. <laughs> Jeff, you got four. Oh, carry on six. We have a new leader, Yasmin well Akram, with yeah. eight points. Well done. It's going to go to my head. Two rounds to go. Who is going to win our first prize? Yasmin didn't want any of them. Uh, <laughs> I'll give them away. I was going to, yeah, you know what? It'll all change if you win one. <laughs> then suddenly someone will want a fondue set. <laughs> Round four today is... <laughs> Richard's junk. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a picture of my junk. Here it is. Ooh. And you've got 15 seconds to memorise everything you see on this oh. board. And at home as well, take a little look. We have cherries, Christmas tree angels, a leotard, a candy cane, garden gnome, a plate of toffees, a drum, a teddy bear, and a hammer and a saxophone. I've got 15 seconds to remember those, and I'm going to ask you some questions about them. The answers were all on that board. OK, fingers on buzzers, please. Here's your first question. What is the nickname of the English football club that was promoted to the Premier League as EFL champions in 2015? <laughs> yes, Jeff. The Cherries, Bournemouth. Oh. Is it the Cherries? <laughs> it is. Well done. <laughs> Cleverly avoided uh, some of the other uh, red herrings there. Uh, next question. Which part of the middle ear transmits sound vibrations from the tympanic membrane to the incus? 
Yes, carry out. The drum, eardrum. The drum? It's incorrect, <sighs> I'm afraid. Oh, well, they got you. They absolutely they got me stitched there, you yeah. up there. No one fancy it. So, Teddy, have you got this one at home? It's the hammer. Oh, hammer was what hammer. we were looking for. Next question. In Prokofiev's 1936 composition, Peter and the Wolf, what type of instrument represents the hunters? Yes, Jeff. The drum? It is the drum. Oh. Well done. That time it was the drum. Uh, well, then, if you've got that at home, next question. Named after its inventor, what was patented in Paris in 1846? Yes, Dennis. Saxophone. <laughs> Saxophone? Yeah. It's the right answer. Yeah, yeah. Well done. <laughs> Invented by Adolf Sax. Nicely played. Um, well done. If you've got that at home, next question. What is the title of Robbie Williams' biggest selling solo single of the 21st century? Yes, carry out. Angels. So, angels? Oh, oh they've oh done you God again. Say, they did me again. They've done you again. Can you believe it? I've kept it. Absolutely kept it. Uh, Yasmin. Candy? <laughs> Candy? Oh. Answer. Well done. Good work. Well, that seems, that seems like. Well, listen, there it is. Next question. Both the actor Kate Winslet and the singer Cheryl will have a child with what first name? Yes, Yasmin. Bear. Bear is the right answer, Yasmin. Well done. Well done if you said that at home. Final question. In Philip Pullman's His Dark Material series, what are Balthamos and Baruch? Yes, Dennis. Uh, leotard. <laughs> <laughs> is it Leotard? <laughs> oh, no, it is not. It was close. Yasmin. Angels. Well done. Oh, well done. There are three items remaining. There's a bonus point up for grabs now if you buzz in and remember the final three items. Carry out. Gnome, toffee, uh, white leotard. Absolutely right. Well played. Well done as well if you uh, remember those last three items. Let's take a look at our leaderboard with one round to go. Just one round before we find our first champion of the week. It's going to be a very competitive week. And here's how we begin. Dennis Taylor, you oh, have yes. two. <laughs> Jeff, six. Carrie oh. seven. Yasmin Akram, four point lead going into our wow. final round. How about that? But the final round, panel change, it's always the same rounds, always. After smash. Now, there'll be a clue, there'll be a picture underneath. Please smash them together. Fingers on buzzers, a point for a correct answer, but a point off in this round for an incorrect answer. Let's take a look at your first category. 12 Days of Christmas Gifts. Any gift mentioned in that song. So there'll be a clue above, there'll be a picture below. Smash them together. Very best of luck, one and all. Let's find our first champion of the week. Which pop group had number one singles with Bring It All Back and Never Had a Dream Come True? Yes, Yasmin. S Club Seven Swans Are Swimming. S Club Seven Swans Are Swimming. Oh, so you can even do this round. Well played, Yasmin. Next clue, next picture. Which song was a hit for Marvin Gaye and Kim Weston in 1967 and then for Rod Stewart and Tina Turner in 1990? Yes, Yasmin. Two turtle doves can make a dream come true. <laughs> Two turtle doves can make a dream come true? Oh. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Carry out. It takes two turtle doves. That's what I meant. Absolutely <laughs> right. Uh, it takes two turtle doves. A point off for Yasmin, point for carry out. Next clue, next picture. Which fictional superhero team consists of Mr Fantastic, the Invisible Woman, the Human Torch and the Thing? Yes, carry out. The Fantastic... Oh, the Fantastic one. Four... Birds are singing, <laughs> whatever so it is sorry, I'm going to have to time you out, carry <sighs> out. It's unlucky. You lose a point to Yasmin. The Fantastic... Four Calling Doves? Oh. The Fantastic Four Calling Doves? <laughs> it's incorrect, I'm afraid. 
Dennis. Birds. <laughs> oh, calling birds. So the whole answer? It, yeah, just exactly what... <laughs> <laughs> OK. This is interesting. <laughs> the Fantastic Four. The Fantastic Call. Four calling birds. The Fantastic Four calling birds, yeah. Dennis is saying. Or something like where, that. Where do you get your answers from? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right. Oh, Fantastic well Four calling <laughs> birds. We got there in the end, gang, didn't we? We got there in the end. <laughs> um, next category. Kitchen equipment. That'll be the picture. That'll be a clue above. Smash them together, please. Which politician served as leader of the Liberal Democrats from 2007 to 2015? Yes, Jeff. Nick Clegg Timer. Oh, Nick Clegg Timer. Oh, yeah, good yeah. work. Well played. Nick Clegg. An egg timer great. becomes Nick Clegg Timer. Next clue. Next picture. Fern Cotton and Holly Willoughby were the original team captains of which panel show first broadcast in 2008? Yes, Cariad. Celebrity Juicer. Celebrity Juicer? Well done. Celebrity Juicer and Juicer becomes Celebrity Juicer. Um, next, kitchen equipment. Which 2021 Channel 4 drama series was written by Russell T Davis and starred Ollie Alexander and Keely Hawes? Yes, Cariad. It's a sink. It's a sink? Correct. Oh. It's a sin and sink becomes it's a sink. It's getting very, very close now. The next category. <laughs> oh, well, Oof, that was I a strong don't... finish. <laughs> Could be a draw. <laughs> Couple wrong from Yasmin, but yeah, you've got one right one as well. Wrong. You got one wrong as well, yeah, though. I have it, yes. Dennis. I think I've in, in you've got yeah. You've got the fantastic four calling birds. <laughs> Dragged that up from somewhere. I don't know where that <laughs> came from. Where did you get it, incredible. Dennis? I don't know. Just incredible. Just incredible. Have you done enough, is the question. Uh, uh, no, not quite. <laughs> take a look, shall we? Who is our first champion on this week's House yes. of Games? It is... Oh. Yasmin oh. Akram by one point. Well played, Yasmin. Congratulations. Thank you. Close. Thank very, you. very close. Yasmin, right. the fantastic news for most people. Not so much for you as you've won a prize. Great. Yeah, uh, it's back. fine. Great. Which, get back. <laughs> which of these would you like? I think I, I'll take the, the cricket bat for my friend. Ah, oh, Yasmin Akram takes home a cricket bat. She's going to give to Jeff Norcott for his uh, understanding. There are one like a one. million taxi cabs in New York City. <laughs> uh, well played, Yasmin, our first champion of the week. Let's take a look at our first weekly leaderboard. Yasmin, you take through four points to tomorrow. Carry out three, Jeff two, and Dennis one. Thank you so much. That was very close. I think it's going to be very close all week. Don't you, Dennis? Oh, I'm, I'm ready for the comeback. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, thank you all so much. That was a lot of fun. Um, see you all here, same time, same place, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. See you as well, same time, same place, on the House of Games. As a sign of our newfound friendship. It's like a great bat as well. Jeff, do you know what? Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. What, I mean, what a performance. <laughs>